Hey everyone, with you Elena Litvinova and in this video we will try to create swipe gallery uh, on CSS. Just clear CSS and nothing else. But we will use VJS, ReactJS and TypeScript. So without JavaScript, you know? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, we will have at the end something like that. So there are images and we can swipe them quite easily. Uh, they are also lazy load, so unfortunately, um, <laughs> images here all uh, inspect our visibility here. For example, if we delete, we can see loader here uh, and uh, each photo have special loader, which is just give and yeah, we will just create this gallery. And it works very good on desktop and on mobile as well. And um, also, of course, not forget to subscribe on this channel, press bell icon and go. Psh. So, okay, let's start. First of all, let's uh, create a folder. I mean, just go into the folder where you will create our project and uh, next we need with jazz or white jazz and before we need somehow to install it so getting started and npm create white latest start here we choose the name of project and it will be swipe gallery c oh no 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 youtube and after it react and of course TypeScript. After it, if we need uh, CD, to so go into this folder, npm install, and we just wait, wait a lot of time, how much we need to wait. You can repeat with me and after it npm run dev. Yoohoo! Everything has been started and we just again stop because we need to add CSS. It need to do npm add uh, slash d sas because we will use as CSS. So again start npm run dev and localhost 5173 and yoohoo we have this project alive so we just install it with jazz and we need open folder with it so go into the documents or somewhere where you save this folder and swipe gallery youtube okay we just build this project and let's look what we have here we have the main folder source so and there are a lot of different files here and let's clear a little bit because we will create everything by our own by our own almost everything so um go in up to six and uh, just clear everything After it, uh, remove React strict mod, so just uh, will not have double render. And remove some files which we don't need. And index CSS we also need to remove. Actually, we will use global SCSS file, so let's rename. And we need to create this folder styles and um, global CSS as CSS. What next? Next, we should remove index CSS, so really all files which we don't need, and just left global CSS and up to six. And yeah, we should do check that we ne no way import our previous files and up to six. Let's just write up and check into the browser that everything is okay. So uh, after it go to public because we, we create a gallery, we need folder images and here we need to put 
some images which we you will use i used my photos from norway so i just tried to minify them to work with them and how you can see them there are several photos they uh, uh, have the same dimensions i mean almost the same in the uh, close area uh, and also we need at loader.gif so you just can find any loader into the internet and just put also in public folder uh, my dimensions is 20 uh, 220 for loader so it will be extremely pixel perfect and why it is which we left because it's fav icon if you want in another fav icon you just need to change it but okay we prepare our project and go back into the app and here let's create an array of images uh, actually this will be um, an array of objects which have URL to each image and uh, description I copy all of these so we have so 13 images because of it I copy this thing um, certain times with comma and after it let's rename it for that we need just uh, choose 0 1 press command plus D, D and after it just rename on needed naming and go to the app here we need to create a small layout uh, which is first is container we will have uh, h1 title which is swipe gallery it's never mind what you put here i decided just to call somehow our project so it will be swipe gallery after it we just need to import our new component swipe gallery but let's just check that everything works with nothing break and okay go into the browser and check Okay, everything looks quite good. And here we should do import the component swipe gallery because we will create independent component and there as a props we should to pass our images which we have. So this component will be like a library for our galleries and you can, I don't know, put a lot of these galleries on your page and just use it. But of course we need to import this swipe gallery from somewhere and just from components swipe gallery yeah and that's it but we need to create this folder components uh, in folder source we create components inside of it we create swipe gallery folder and inside of it index t6 and index CSS as CSS yeah we use SAS for our style so um, that's it uh, but of course we need to create this component because it's still we still have the highlighting and if we for example go into the browser and open inspector we see that oh my god the request model we can't find okay let's go into um, where we go into index.d6 and create here a component it's just function swipe gallery uh, with props images and also because we are using typescript we need to, of course create these props and somehow to uh, describe what we have there and we have uh, inside of it we will have just element which is firstly 
Div with class name gallery and inside of it swipe gallery. And let's create interface swipe gallery props which is for now consists just only from images. If you will add more properties there, for example, counter, navigation, and etc. and etc., you need to put it here. And of course, not forget import index CSS because we need styles for our gallery. Okay, if you check in the browser, we see that everything is okay. Just check at some additional one to check be very sure that this is our gallery. So our components works. And uh, first of all, let's work a little bit on global SCSS. Uh, for that, we need to import Roboto font. I just really like this font. It's sans serif. And uh, just let's add it. Uh, I decided to add some fonts. Actually, I think that we not use it there. We just use might be bold one for H1, but I decided for some, don't know why, to add uh, several fonts like uh, mo most popular. Okay. And okay, just import it. And put into a CSS file. After it, uh, let's work a little bit about on body. So we have body font, the main font, it's 14 pixel, line height 1.2, Roboto, and this is sans serif family. After it, mean height, it's uh, 100 VH. It's actually not super important because in the gallery, we also will put some height there. But anyway, uh, let's put it as well here. Margin, padding zero, so clear some um, default CSS on body. So everything will be quite close to the borders. Uh, just only H1 has the margin. If we open our DOM, document object model, so we see that the yeah. Okay, after it, we work with root, put here 100% and container. What we will do with container, we just put some padding, maybe 30 pixels, box sizing, border box. So if we will put height, uh, we will put height. So paddings uh, will be included into this height. Uh, display grid and grid template columns. Uh, rows, sorry, rows auto and one 100%. Uh, so mm, it means that our title will have um, auto here and uh, container will have uh, everything left. So H1 it's margin bottom 20 pixels and text line center. Okay, cool. But at the same time, if you look on our DOM, it not looks very awesome because I expected that swipe gallery will have uh, left space from the screen. And what we can do here might be to put in root 100 VH. Yes, I like that, it works. Okay, cool. And um, but there is one thing which we still can fix. We used margin bottom on H1. And actually here we just can use gap without margin bottom, just left margin zero and gap 20 pixels. And that's it. It will be like, a, I think, better grid implementation. Okay, cool. Uh, our container is ready for our gallery. We have success in it and we can start work with swipe gallery. Uh, what we will do here, actually we already created a natural container div which is gallery, inside of it we create gallery container. Uh, so we will have gallery as a main container, inside of it we will have line which is gallery 
container where we will put all our images which we have and we just uh, go through all our images and uh, create also neutral elements like div because we will center by div it. Uh, also we put the key which is depend on index we can use here index because we not how manipulate with these images and uh, we not remove not add them and index in that case is okay not unique key so uh, inside of it we create image we source image URL and alt which is description image description And loading let's put lazy so when we open our gallery not all images I don't know download yes okay so we have this gallery we extremely happy our layout is fully ready and we can start to work on CSS oh okay let's before look what we have we have a lot of images which we can scroll they're very large larger than our screen and okay go into CSS and here we just say gallery and uh, what we will have here in the gallery we just say with 100% oh no we will not say max height 100% but anyway we will a little bit uh, different do that okay container also 100% uh, and okay with 100 person so not break it might be and here hate it's actually you can remove I think with 100 person on container but uh, anyway let's try hate um, here we will use gallery hate uh, because of that I spoke about that might be we not needed to use a grid just need space for this gallery which is will calculate extremely good so we use 100 page minus 110 pixels which is size of our title plus 20 pixels okay what next how we see layout on 100 pixels that's okay gallery container should be a really long line okay go into the images and just sa say them that max width is 100 person so they will not be so large and max height also 100 person because we will put it into the items and object fit here is filled so our images will have good proportion not depending on how large height or width okay what's next we should put uh, overflow x auto here so we have a width 100 uh, after it position relative not sure for what i use it might be if for example you will add uh, uh, different components inside you can use this position relative here it's not super needed uh, scroll ball width we hide and this property scroll snap type it's actually uh, the main property which help us to make the real gallery and display flex to put all images into the um, on in this line so and after it we need a little bit to work with item which is from container oh and of course not forget to close uh, to hide scroll bar fully we do it on webkit but not forget to check uh, firefox safari that everything looks also good it should be displayed now so we will have actually scrolling but we should to hide it and what next next we uh, use item which is container item and we say that mean width is 100 person so for each item we have 100 person height we have the same height gallery height and uh, text align center so center our image because image actually um, display in line this is in line element and how you see we can scroll already our gallery but uh, it's not looks like swipe gallery and if we hide open the scroll again we see the scroll actually we just created 
layout with horizontal scroll. Okay, uh, open it again and yeah, fine. But now we need somehow to stop images. For example, if we do small scrolling, we need somehow to say stop please. <laughs> And um, we use a scroll snap line from start and scroll snap stop for always. And uh, these three properties, scroll snap type, scroll snap align, uh, help us to make actually normal gallery, which we will use. Uh, a little bit later, I speak about what means scroll snap stop. And after it background, put background on each item exactly, load in GIF, center, center, not repeat, and background size. Uh, so to save it 50-50% and okay, here we put visibility hidden, just look on our loader and oh my God, so large. Okay, okay, let's do just 50 pixels on 50 pixels. Oh, now it looks really awesome. And if we scroll, already you see the screen stops by their own because scroll snap align start. If we remove it, we can just scroll like, like usual. But we need scroll and that uh, item stopped in right position, always on one image. But look at it, we, if we scroll very, if we scroll very, okay. Our scroll is quite sensitive now, but all the time it stop on the image. About scroll snap stop always, if we show it, it help us not have sensitive scroll. You see, if we scroll very hard, we can move one, I don't know, 10 images. If we put this property, we can move just only on one image it make our scroll not so sensitive. So, and actually that's it. Remove some spaces and uh, yeah, we have our gallery, which is quite awesome and uh, swipe and perfectly works on mobile, desktop. Um, of course, if you have special mouse, uh, and you can scroll horizontally. So um, that's it. I hope this lesson was interesting for you. Uh, of course, not forget to subscribe on this channel, press bell icon, like button, and see you in the next video with your Elena Litvina. Bye-bye.